Hello, my name is Anthony Blue. I'm a Geomatics Consultant at GeoPlus, and today I will show you how to start virtual surveying with Vision LiDAR. Now upon opening a Vision LiDAR project, many of the surveying tools may be unavailable. As we can see here, a few of the icons have been grayed out, as well as many of the options in the survey menu, as well as the civil menu. To be able to proceed to virtual surveying and to use the tools, go to Survey Vision Database and attach a database to the project. Now normally Vision will propose a name for your database. You may enter in your own name that you wish to add or by clicking here you, you may even select the folder within which it will be saved. Also available, we can save as MDB Microsoft Access type database or SQLite type database. So whichever the user prefers. So here we may select an existing file or we may type a new file name to create the file. In this case, I'm simply going to use my example name. So now it's telling me the file doesn't exist yet. Do I want to create it by using this standard repository file. So I click yes and now the configuration file and the database is created. We have a list of configurations here however in our installation there's only Vision Plus which is available. This configuration is going to determine the list of P codes used when surveying anything. So in this case I'll click on OK However, if I want to change my Vision Database model, I, it's here in Settings, Edit Settings, and then the Vision Database model. This database model is stored in the Vision LiDAR installation folder. For users who may want to change the configuration, um, it may be useful to contact GeoPlus support so we can help you with with integrating your own list of P codes with our Vision LiDAR software. Now, once all the tools and options for surveying are available, one of the first options that a user may want to explore is pick points. So, upon clicking on pick points, there a window appears with a table. However, the first thing that a user will want to do is with this tool is to actually pick a point. So we see here I click two points. Both points have line number one. This means they'll be connected and they'll be creating a polyline. As we can see, all the points I picked each have a name, a XYZ coordinate, and a P code attached to them, as well as a line number. This P code and line number are determined by this section here, Use Lines. If I was to change my P code, or let's say I can change a P code to this, and I can change also my line number. If I click my next line, it's going to have a different P code and a different line number. As we can see here, even the line color has changed because it's following the color associated to this P code. Also, if I was to remove the line number and I picked a point, these points are not connected to any, any line. Now, if, for instance, any point here is not satisfactory. We may click on the line, on the point, and we may do a right click, and there are a few options here for editing a point. Now we can change the P code associated to the line. We can, we can uh, change the line number directly here. We may enter in a value and click on there to change it. We may add an attribute directly we may edit the point. Edit the point is not available in, in picking point mode. We may repick the point. 
So here, for instance, if I was to go to the point number 9 and click Pick Coordinate, I could repick it by clicking here, for instance. And the, the coordinate will change for that given point. Now in this list, all of these points are orange. This means that they have not been saved yet. So if I want to save them to my database, I must click on Save. And now all the points will have disappeared from my view and will no longer be in my table. This does not mean that they are they're no longer in my database. It's simply they're not in the Pick Points window. So to actually see my, all of my Pick Points, I would click on Survey and Show Points. And here will show me where all of my points are stored. And these points appear in white because they have already been saved. Now one more thing, if I want, now I'm able to edit a point. So I can do a right click in this view, in the view points window, and I may click on edit points. Here I may do customize uh, editing to any number of points. I may add a note, uh, change speed code, the coordinate, the uh, rotation angle, all this information. Now a few differences to be noted in the show points window, so the view points window. There is no um, right section here for picking points. And also if I click on the screen while this window is open, it's not going to pick any points. So this is simply for viewing any vectorized features. Perhaps one last thing of, uh, that can be noted is here in my Use Lines tool, I can add a number of different P codes and line numbers. So let's say I, I choose a bunch of different codes here and I can s set a sequence of lines and P codes to be vectorized. So I can click here. So as you can see here, I've I've picked a point and it's been following the it's been following the sequence I have set here. So as I move along, you can see different lines appearing. So you can set this. This is especially useful in cases where you're doing a sectional view and you want to do sequential picking. So we can see all the points I've picked have follow, followed the sequence I've set up here. And they're all connected through different chaining lines. So this is one particularity. If I want to return to the single line, I can simply remove those lines and and all the next points that will be picked will be following this line only. Now finally, one last thing. Uh, to export any pick points or any polylines, we may click on export here. And you, you can see we can export any of these lines and points to XML format, land XML. This is useful for civil 3D applications, for instance, to CSV format or to DXF format. Also to be noted is that these points and lines are always attached to your vision database. So in case if you have other vision products, we have a few uh, products that attach to uh, CAD software where you can, you, you can attach to your CAD the vision database. So that would be another way of exporting. So that's it for the, the basics of virtual surveying. We have a few other options for automatic detection and picking cylinders, for, for instance, but this will be reserved for another tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and stay posted for more Vision LiDAR tutorials. Thank you very much.